In heraldry, St. George's Cross, also called the Cross of St. George, is a red cross on a white background, which from the late Middle Ages became associated with St. George, the military saint, often depicted as a crusader. Associated with the Crusades, the red on white cross has its origins in the 12th century. It may have been used as the ensign of the Republic of Genoa as early as during the 13th century. The symbol has since been adopted by the Swabian League in the pre-Reformation Holy Roman Empire. The red on white cross used extensively across northern Italy as the symbol of Bologna, Padua, Genoa, Reggio Emilia, Mantua, Vercelli, Alessandria, is instead derived from an older flag, called the Cross of St. Ambrose. Adopted by the Commune of Milan in 1045, St. George also rose to the position of patron saint of England after the English Reformation, and since the early modern period his flag came to be identified as the national flag of England. St. George is also the patron saint of Georgia, and the national flag of Georgia 2004 displays a combination of St. George's Cross and the Jerusalem Cross. <inaudible> Origins and medieval use St. George became widely venerated as a warrior saint during the Third Crusade. There was a legend that he had miraculously assisted Godfrey of Bouillon, also that Richard the Lionheart had placed himself under his protection. According to legend, the Crusaders received miraculous help at the Siege of Antioch on 28 June 1098 from a great army on white horses, clothed in white and bearing white banners, led by St. George, St. Demetrius, and St. Mercurius. However, there was no association of the Red Cross with St. George before the end of the Crusades. The Red Cross in particular was associated with the Knights Templar, from the time of the Second Crusade 1145. But in 1188 red and white crosses were chosen to identify the French and English troops in the King's Crusade of Philip II of France and Henry II of England, respectively. Together with the Jerusalem Cross, the plain red on white became a recognizable symbol of the Crusader from about 1190, and in the 13th century it came to be used as a standard or emblem by numerous leaders or polities who wanted to associate themselves with the Crusades. The red on white combination was chosen by Genoa and Aragon, among others. St. George was depicted as a Crusader knight during this time, but the Red Cross had no particular association with him. A Crusader-era fresco in the crypt of Trani Cathedral shows St. George wearing a white cross on a red surcoat. The white on red version was chosen as the Reichsbanner, Imperial Banner, by the German Crusaders in the 12th century, and Emperor Frederick II used it in his European campaigns of the 1250s after he had returned from the Crusades. It continued to be used as the Reichsturmfanny, Imperial War Flag of the Holy Roman Empire, eventually giving rise to the flag of Savoy and the present-day flags of Switzerland and Denmark. A Vexillum Beati Georgi is mentioned in the Genovese Annals for the year 1198, referring to a red flag with a depiction of St. George and the dragon. An illumination of this flag is shown in the Annals for the year 1227. The Genoese flag with the red cross was used alongside this, George's flag from at least 1218, and was known as the insignia cruxata communis genu, cross ensign of the commune of Genua. The flag showing the saint himself was the city's principal war flag, but the flag showing the plain cross was used alongside it in the 1240s. The cross ceased to be a symbol directly associated with the taking of the cross, the resolve to fight in a crusade, after the failure of the crusades in the 14th century. With the development of systematic heraldry, there was great demand for variations of the cross symbol and associated terminology. Juliana Berners reports that there were crosses innumerable born daily. The term, St. George's Cross, was at first associated with any plain Greek cross touching the edges of the field, not necessarily red on white. Thomas Fuller in 1647 wrote of the plain or S. George's Cross as the mother of all the others. That is, the other heraldic crosses, early representations of St. George as a Crusader knight with bearing a red on white cross still date to the late 13th century, and become widespread as the saints attributed arms in the 14th and 15th centuries. Edward III of England chose St. George as the patron saint of his Order of the Garter in 1348, and also took to using a red on white cross in the hoist of his royal standard. Topic. 
England Topic Origin There was a historiographical tradition claiming that Richard the Lionheart himself adopted both the flag and the patron saint from Genoa at some point during his crusade. This idea can be traced to the Victorian era. Perrin refers to it as a common belief, and it is still popularly repeated today even though it cannot be substantiated as historical. On the origins of the flag and its connection to the Genoese flag, the Duke of Kent remarked in 1992. The St. George's flag, a red cross on a white field, was adopted by England and the City of London in 1190 for their ships entering the Mediterranean to benefit from the protection of the Genoese fleet. The English monarch paid an annual tribute to the Doge of Genoa for this privilege." The Red Cross was introduced to England by the late 13th century, but not as a flag, and not at the time associated with St. George. It was worn by English soldiers as an identification from the early years of the reign of Edward I 1270s, and perhaps originated a few years earlier, in the Second Barons' War specifically in the Battle of Evesham of 1265, during which, according to chronicler William Rishanger, Simone de Montfort observed that the king had taken from him the idea of having his soldiers marked with a cross, St. George rose to the position of patron saint of England in a process beginning in 1348 with the foundation of the Order of the Garter and culminating with the abolition of All Saints banners except for the St. George's banner in 1552. From 1348 and throughout the 15th century, the St. George's Cross was shown in the hoist of the royal standards of the Plantagenet Kings of England. Flag A combined British flag was created in 1606 after the dynastic Union of England and Scotland in 1603, the so-called Union of the Crowns, by combining St George's Cross with the St Andrew's Cross, the flag of Scotland. The flag was initially for maritime display, later restricted to the king's ships. Afterwards, the St George flag remained the flag of England for other purposes until the Acts of Union 1707. At the Union, the first Union flag became official for all purposes in the new Kingdom of Great Britain. From this time, the St. George Cross came to be seen as a symbol of England and Wales when used alongside symbols for Scotland or Ireland, so in the flags of the Commonwealth of England during 1649-1660. The flag of St. George is also the rank flag of an admiral in the Royal Navy, and civilian craft are forbidden to fly it. However, surviving little ships of Dunkirk, which participated in the Dunkirk evacuation during World War II, are allowed to fly it as a jack. This is normally done in the defaced form of the Dunkirk jack. Churches belonging to the Church of England may fly the St. George's Cross unless another flag is flown by custom for special reasons. The correct way for the church to fly the St. George's Cross since an order from the Earl Marshal in 1938 is with the arms of the diocese in the upper left-hand corner of the flag. The flag of St. George has enjoyed a resurgence in popularity since the late 20th century, partly due to football-inspired nationalism, and also in response to the devolution movements in Scotland and Wales. During the 2010 World Cup, UK Prime Minister David Cameron told Parliament that the flag would fly above his official residence at no extra cost to the taxpayer", while England played in the contest. <laughs> Derived usage Guernsey was permitted to use the St George's Cross as its state flag between 1936 and 1985. The coat of arms of Montreal, first used in 1833, had a St. Patrick's cross with the floral emblems of England, Scotland, Ireland, and France in its four quarters. The cross was changed to a St. George's cross in 1938, representing England's dominating influence over Canada, and a city flag in the form of the arms was adopted the following year. The city of Nanaimo in British Columbia also uses a St. George's cross on its flag and arms with a ship and pieces of coal, its former main export. Three Canadian provinces use the St. George's Cross on their coats of arms, Alberta, Manitoba, and Ontario, again reflecting England's influence in Canada. 
The state badge of the Australian state of New South Wales features St George's Cross with a golden lion passant gardant in the centre of the cross and a golden eight-pointed star on each of the cross limbs. The Indian naval ensign combines the cross of St George with the Indian national flag. Georgia St. George is the patron saint of the nation of Georgia, and the St. George flag was supposedly used in the 5th century by Georgian king Vakhtang Gorgasali. In the 13th century, Queen Tamar of Georgia used the St. George flag during her campaign against Seljuk Turks. The four Jerusalem crosses were later added by King George V of Georgia, who drove out the Mongols from Georgia in 1334. The flag fell out during the Russian annexation of Georgia and abolition of the Georgian monarchy. However, the flag was revived by the Georgian Patriotic Movement in the 1990s. A majority of Georgians supported the restoration of the medieval flag of Georgia, including the influential Catholicos Patriarch of All Georgia Ilya II of the Georgian Orthodox Church. The flag was finally adopted by the Georgian Parliament on January 14, 2004. It was formally endorsed by a presidential decree signed by Mikhail Saakashvili on January 25, following his election as President of Georgia. Other The flag of Barcelona combines the cross of St. George, the patron saint of the city, with the traditional red and yellow bars of the Senyera, the ancient symbol of the crown of Aragon here, the bars are vertical, though the modern flag of Catalonia has horizontal stripes. The flag of Sardinia is popularly known as the Four Moors flag, and consists of a red cross on a white background with a Moor Moore's head in each quarter. It has also been described as containing a St. George's cross. In Sweden, the term, St. George's Cross, sometimes refers to the cross pate used by Swedish Freemasons. Notes External links Flag of England at FOTW Banners of English Saints at FOTW